Well, losing has become abnormal for Ole Miss women's basketball. Um, so the last loss really uh, sucked. And we hadn't lost since sometime in December. So kind of forgot how that felt. Um, I do think that it was probably perfect timing for us going into a bye week, even though who wants to lose going into the best? Two times you don't want to lose, Christmas and uh, going into a bye week because you have to sit on it for the whole time. But you know, that's what I love about this game. It rewards uh, when you do right by it. And, and we didn't versus uh, Alabama. And so our consequence is we have to sit in it for a whole week. Uh, Maya said y'all had, you know, kind of talked about it. And, and all. just how was that and how have you felt maybe the team handle that? Like you said, y'all haven't had this much this year. Yeah, you know, when we lost to Oklahoma, um, that was, we had exams that week. And I probably dragged that, drugged that thing out for the whole week. And I'm not done talking about Alabama either. So we, we started talking about it yesterday. I came off the road recruiting to talk about it. Um, and we will continue to uh, use the film and learn from a lot of the things that we got exposed on. You know, we hadn't been exposed a lot um, in that game. It was almost like a perfect storm. You know, you got Bama who had the whole week to just focus on us. And, uh, and then we had a dog fight in the Georgia game. And um, I, I really thought that the crowd and the momentum and everything going on would be a positive for us, and it ended up not so much. It ended up almost, I think, being overwhelming for our team and something that we have to get used to. Um, Don used to tell me all the time, Don Staley, that you know your players are going to have to get used to a crowd because that's just not something that you know is just automatic for them. And and and. So, you know, she said, hopefully they continue to come out because your players need to get used to it. And, um, and so there's no excuses. These are just things that, you know, I understand and I'm thinking about. And we're going to – but but we will close the chapter. We'll start preparing for Auburn on um, Friday. When, and the chapter will be closed then. But right now the book is still open. Stay a challenge. Your, this is your first repeat opponent this yeah. season, but but also get having to go to their place after a week off. Yeah. Um, I mean, I, I, I'm going to probably lie on it. It will be positive for us. We'll be rested. Uh, we'll have a really solid game plan. Uh, the the, the um, Georgia game was our first Thursday road game. So that was different from the prep. Uh, so when we got back and, you know, I really had to rest them because my players played a lot of minutes and we didn't get two days of prep for Bama. And so as I learned this team, I'm also learning, like, what do they need? Like, maybe we needed to practice, even if it was for 45 minutes of some live reps or whatever the case may be. So there's still a lot of – that's what I was saying last time. Like, don't forget, we still got nine new players, you know. So there's still a lot of things I'm learning with this team. Um, and so, but anytime you have to play an opponent twice, you got to look at what you did well and what you didn't do well. And I think the team that fixes what they didn't do well the best and, and can continue to do what they did do well will come out on the W and in, in the W column. What do you learn about your team after games like Sunday? Um, here's what I learned. Uh, February 9th, 2020. Alabama came here, we had 800 fans, and we lost by one point. I had a manager that started. Uh, shout out to Toots. Uh, and in 2023, we had almost 4,000 people here, and uh, we didn't come up with the victory. But in 2020, I was 0-16. I had lost 15 games in a row. And uh, Bama gave me my 16th loss. Uh, fast forwarding, Bama gave me my first loss in conference um, after like a year break because we beat them last year and the year before, two year break, sorry. So for me, I've learned that this program has come a long way and will continue to uh, 
have a have a forward trajectory. Now from my team, I didn't learn anything new. I I I um I told them we could beat anybody and anybody could beat us. And that's the SEC. And if you come to play, you win. If you don't, you lose. Um and so I kind of didn't feel I didn't feel good about the game from the beginning. You know, Maya got in that foul trouble. I, I felt uneasy just because I already knew I was managing minutes. And usually when my players get in foul trouble, I can't manage minutes. And so that takes the power out of my hand. Um, but uh, one of the things I think they learn is we just still have a lot of ways to go. You know, like, well, we got 10 more games in, in conference. Um, and we got to use this as a lesson and continue to build. Talk about Angel and Madison, mm -hmm. Maya, and Snowdo, but Destiny's had games like she had Sunday, kind of here and there. But what does she need to do to make that a just a normal occurrence for her game in, game out? Yeah, I think for all of our players that maybe not are not the key players on people's scouting report, is they got to defend. You know, um, and and I and I get it. I know fans love the offensive side of the ball, but you got to stop someone and. And that's really how the game works. You got to do both. And uh, hopefully on the offensive side, it gave Des the confidence. Like I told her yesterday, you know, I think I'm a pretty good recruiter. I don't bring in bums, you know. So while she celebrated every time she scored, I, I always felt like she could do it. Uh, but if she's going to want to build my trust, it's going to have to be on the defensive end. And there were a lot of defensive miscues. Um, that were presented by our whole team, but since you're talking about her, but by her as well. And that's what I'm gonna need from our bench. Our bench has to, if, if, if they're having offensive woes, if we're having offensive woes, the opponent has to have offensive woes. You know, that game was kind of funky. It was like a quiet, it was like a perfect storm, you know, like we jump out on them. Our team is like, oh, I know how this feels. Um, we get in foul trouble, two of my starters, we hit the snooze button, and they're playing their heart out, and uh, and uh, you know we we just couldn't re we couldn't re respond. <laughs> so, you know we got um, but we we're gonna need depth. We're gonna need depth. Um, Alabama showed that they had depth with their players being out, and we have to be able to show that. Any other questions for coach? Great, thanks everyone.